So we've seen the Lancia Delta. Dean's been out in the Aston. Now it's time to go back to Italy and go to Lamborghini. So Dean, this is a Lamborghini Gallardo Performante. And I know you're a big fan of Lamborghini, aren't you? I am. So, I just think yeah. if you're going to go supercar, I just think they do everything it says on the tin. They're loud, they're proud, they're aggressive, and they're non-compromise. It is, it's just, for me, it's the poster. That's what yeah. it is. You know, it's the poster supercar, the one that we all had up in our, on our wall when we were kids. It's changed from the event door to the Mercia, or the Mercia Largo to the event door and all that over the years, but the Lambo's just got it, it's got it going. And the styling's just fantastic, the way yeah. they do the mirrors, this sleek line here. I know this is, makes it difficult to see out, but that is the line and the feel of this car. Well, if so, you're eight foot tall, you look straight over the know, top. Yeah, you do, for you, you do, I suppose. <laughs> But this is a great car and I think these we spoke about before about value for money and I think these are a great car for the money. Probably 100 to 110,000. It's a lot of motor for that money. A lot of car. Yeah. And one thing is it's fantastic to drive. So the steering you had in that Aston is very, very similar to in here. Yeah. And also you've got that V10, 550 horsepower and four wheel drive. Four -wheel so drive. you've got that security. And it enables people with my skill set behind the wheel, and I like to think I'm all right, better yeah. than the Av, but yeah. not, you know, I'm, I'm far from, you know, know what I'm yeah. doing sort of thing. But it enables someone with my skill set to get the most out of a car. Yeah, and enjoy it, and not feel terrified. Yeah. Which is one of the other things, when you've got a rear wheel drive car and a lot of power, it can be very daunting for you. So the thing with these was the seats, they always said they're quite hard and difficult, but actually I've been out in them and I think they're actually fine. Yeah. Um, and it's the same with my Mercia Largo SV, the seats seem, seem really good. What do you think of the bronze wheels? Mate, I just think it's got it going on, isn't it? It's like a supermodel with like some athletics lycra on, it's just absolutely <laughs> superb. It's, I love it. But then to be fair, I am a bit, I love everything that is in this room. <laughs> um, if you had a comparison, so a new 911 now. It's probably the same value as this. Yeah. So you'd have to look if you wanted just a weekend car and you wanted to go out, then probably I'd be swaying this way to these older Lamborghinis, not many really made. You say it like it's a difficult decision. I mean, I love Porsches. I think they're a brilliant all round motor. But compare like for like, I don't think they stand up to a Lamborghini. I don't think they stand up to something like this. I don't think they'll ever give you what this type of motor could oh no not for the drive i mean it feels no. very much like a go-kart when you drive this car yeah. which is great and they were in the bends it feels lovely and like you say you've got also it's a convertible with a porsche you probably you're looking at the coupe but yeah it's just a mega piece of kit this and uh, also it's a lovely size yes too big. I mean, well exactly we yeah i'll say the mercial goes in the aventador you look at yourself and you think to yourself oh, i don't know how i'm going to get them around country roads i mean this the aventador is here i mean i've driven the aventador and it is a big car and it is a bit worrying going out um, and then the the sv he gets a little bit bigger again then the svj is even bigger again i think that's a foot longer than the mercial Largo. it's bigger than my van <laughs> I would still struggle to get my rods in the back of it, but I would, I would compromise. So you like Ferraris as well, don't you? I know they've got a nice selection. So if we go over yeah. to 599, you said that's one of your favourites. Really. Um, I've always had something about cars with long noses and short bums. Right, and and, yeah, so I just think if I was to buy a Ferrari, I, I mean... Testarossa is a beautiful motor, don't get me wrong. It's classic, it's sleek, it's archetypal, but this is where I'm pinning my flag, mate. <laughs> it's, well, it's a 599 with a GTO body. I thought it was a GTO. Yeah, I did actually think, I, mean, I did. It's got GTO badging. Yeah. It really is sort of a third of the price. Really. So you're sort of 160,000. And that is a mega piece of, <laughs> and also you could go, you've got your, your boot, you've got lovely seats and you've got lots of room. I'm a big guy, so, I like quite big cars, yeah. right? I fit in this no problem and today I've been you know, quite yeah. self-conscious about not getting in the Lancia. But do you know the other thing as well? Remember I said earlier on about you know, Aston Martin's just a little bit safe, a little bit sophisticated yeah. and a gen just a standard Aston Martin Vantage in this showroom would look out of place. It wouldn't look special enough in my mind. Yeah. But the GT8, 
you could reverse and park in here and it is it's right in it's right, yeah, yeah absolutely yeah well. so yeah you said you've got uh, testarossa here we've got a 512 to lovely touring ferrari again and then one part of the video i said is there any cars that would be sort of investment which is very hard at the moment with the current Course. climate but i think the challenge for Dali would be one that's a 5,000 mile car 200,000 pound there's only 109 in the uk that's a special car but I don't, it's very difficult at the moment to see anything holding in the money the way it is because there is a lot of cars in this sort of invest investment <laughs> and money aside then yeah in this showroom yeah pick one, that black one. <laughs> didn't even hesitate did he <laughs> i'm like that oh we're doing, oh yeah <laughs> no, I, I think it would be one of these performante gardens never would it? driven one yeah never driven one and it's and then when i did i thought i've missed out i thought i should have been getting those cars because it's, it's just the steering feel like we said you know you've driven that gta mm. you can feel that steering and yeah no, the Aventador tends to... It's like heavy, it's not hard, you're connected to the road, you feel it goes exactly where you want it to, you feel like you're in, like, just the most super go-kart ever, you know, it sticks, it, it just wants to be driven as well. And with DVS being here and being local to me, when I come down, the first car they had in here was that Murcielago SV, the orange one, and yeah. I've never seen one, and I've probably never have bought one unless places like VVS and that were here. Yeah. Because it, you know it's a very limited edition car. They look after me very well here. If I get any problems, they come and help, which is which is great. And that's yeah. why with this type of car, you need to buy it from a, an independent who's going to help you. Yeah. Because obviously, there's not you can get a warranty on these, but they've got the software here to manage them. And the sound of this V10, I tell you now, it's got to go some. It's, it's got to go some, it's it's go some to beat the GC8, mate. I mean, I'm I'm so, I'm, I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at Mercia Largo. So let's go around. So the Mercia Largo is, is a stunning shape again. And it is a nice size. It still feels quite big on the road. Yeah. But it's obviously quite a bit smaller than the Aventador. This is the orange that I had in, in, on my one. Now these are probably 170 to, to 200,000 now. I think it's almost a sin not to get a Lamborghini in something garish. You know, I love it. Don't get me wrong. You know, the dark greys and the blacks, they're all beautiful. I mean, you can't get an ugly one, can you? But if I was to get one, I'd have the yellow or the orange or the green. You know, I, I would have something where you could clearly see and hear me coming from miles off. Well, they've got some SVs up here. This is probably your type of colour. So these two SVs here, the yellow and the grey one. Really like the that's a weekend car mate yeah. that's a weekend car you know and again this is the big spoiled one super veloce and when we bring that orange one out on the channel you're going to see because this has got one of the greatest engines ever made is it yeah, yeah. It's 670 horsepower v12 and it makes a noise like almost nothing else apart from that gt8 which you can so I had a horrible grin on my face. I looked in the mirror and I saw this cheesy, I couldn't stop seeing my two front teeth on the chin. I couldn't get the grin out of my face. So Diablo. Yeah, classic. Great looking car. This is a VT edition. I, I do, I've got a I love the manual, I love the, the, like the stainless manual yeah, gearbox, the crunkiness of it, it's just superb. I really, really love it. I'd like one in that sort of violet purple, the SE30. The poster, be, the poster yeah, colour, yeah. yeah. That's the one. That's the one. Then they've got an Aston here, DBS. This is the one from James Bond. Lovely classic shape. And this is what you were saying earlier about the Astons being more of that classic flow shape, aren't they? whereas the GT8s are a lot more aggressive. And it's got those wings and the fins on the side. Still an absolutely beautiful vehicle. You know, can't knock that. But yeah, what they've done with that GT8, we've just just sporting it up a little bit. Yeah. It, it just it just works for me. You know, it, it's, it's the one that you look forward to taking out and driving. You drive this every single day. Yeah. Comfortable, yeah, yeah. beautiful. But but yeah, the GT8 is the one that I take out on a Saturday evening. For sure. An SV roaster here. Yellow. Yeah, no, this is what you're saying. This is the sort of colour. So the SV, I need 
500 made and these have, have come down a bit in value now still quite a bit of money but it's again it's a very big car very big car very wide fantastic engine again it's a lot of motor in it I mean, people talk about the money and how much they cost, but it is so much car. When you stand here next to a vehicle of this magnitude, yeah, absolutely. You stand here and you think, how can I justify spending that amount of thousands of pounds on cars? But when you stand here next to one, you get it. You sort of see the Of course you do. Yeah, you do. Especially this color, I like that green. So we've got a McLaren here, 600 LT Spider. It looks familiar, that one. Yeah, might be mine. Evo car of the year. I was devastated. I was devastated when you chopped this in. Well, I still haven't sold it. Oh, have you not? I might be coming back, but we don't know. How much you want for it? Mates rates. <laughs> <laughs> but I was devastated when you picked the, McLa the Aston over this because I, you know, again, the McLaren, very similar to the, the Lambo, it's, it's uncompromising. You know, it drives past you on the road and you just think, Batmobile, straight away. I That's really, really like it. I, I do. Say to Dan, look, if it doesn't sell, then fine, do you? I have it back and it was great to drive and it was but it I don't know it just hasn't quite got that specialness feel of of the Aston and the other things I've got like I've got a scooter rear as well and I just feel you drive it and it's super super quick and then that's sort of it but then you go yeah if there's a but then there's a, and it doesn't matter what the but is no. does it no, I know. You know? It is a little bit fiddly to get in and out of. I think the lift is quite slow. There's a few little bits with the car. But otherwise, I mean, it, it was fantastic. Especially at night, these exhausts with the blue flames. <laughs> they've, tried to, they've tried to add on stuff almost to get that sort of feel to it. Uh, but it is a lovely looking car. I and think. And value for money again. This being a Spider, what are you looking? 160,000. Right. A mile, not seven months old. That is going to need a bigger deal than that, Richard. I'm going to need a bigger deal than that. <laughs> but I do like the orange and the pinstripe. Yeah. Well, maybe you might be able to go out with this one if it doesn't. Do it. But again, look at the detail here. I love this. It's similar to that GTA. Again, these Gallardos coming back to these. There's a lot of value cars out there. Yeah. It's a supercar to drive as well, isn't it? easy to go sort of close to the limit yeah. i found yeah, easier to drive which for some people if you've got a real decent skill set might be a bit boring but for someone like me you want to try and wring the neck out of what you spent your hard-earned cash on and yeah. it's it, i think they're, they're great compromises well, it's a compromise it's not a compromise at all is it look at it this car here is the challenge for Dali. i still love this car i mean this was a race car turn into a road car a lot of the road cars tend to race but the chassis was all race it was from a challenge car and that makes it really raw the only thing with this is it's a tricky handling car it can be on the road they called it 360 for a reason I think. <laughs> but it, the tires now that's the other great thing the tires have come on so far when these come out they'd have a super sticky tire that in the rain was lethal but now you can change to a michelin or ferrelli tire um, up-to-date compounds yeah and they, they're a lot safer yeah yeah this again is lovely car Aventador. This, this Aventador S these have come right down in price again they were sort of 350s sort of new you're looking at just over 200 220 and that are probably going to keep coming down as well so it's pretty amazing that you can get a car like you said what could you do more in a car than there ain't nothing you can do. I feel like cars have just been completed. When yeah, I stand in a showroom like this, you see some old versions, you know, you some of the older Ferraris up to the, you know, what I thought was a GTO, but you just feel like, where do we go from here? I mean, I know you mentioned electric, but yeah. I suppose that's, I that that's blasphemy why, in this. I think that's in, why I'm buying the older cars. Yeah. Because you're not going to have that feel anymore. And okay, buying the McLaren is probably the newest one I've bought for a while, and it, it doesn't quite excite me enough. I just don't. It's, it's a good car, and it's that you know, it, it looks nice and it's fine. But then I go in that Aston and have a manual gearbox, and the manual gearbox. Oh, that's different gravy. Changes everything again. Yeah, of course it does. Because I yeah. can accelerate and change gear when I want. I'm in control. So, and, and maybe these cars are built more for the person who wants to yeah. on the track. Yeah, know. the manual gearbox it rewards you when you have a great gear yeah. change. It it Naturally, it punishes it punishes you as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just to rev and rev and rev. 
or is that you're going to well there was a bit too much there. traffic for me to really appreciate that richard but yeah <laughs> but i got enough of it to see i just look at that though and i think there's nothing you could do to a car to make that better no it's just fantastic you know just take a picture of it pull it on my office wall yeah. and i'll drool over it for the next decade that is just a piece of machinery so you see why I come here sometimes for a nice coffee? Yeah, well, it's, it's I do genuinely character. feel like I've just gone to heaven. Yeah. <laughs> if there was a fishing lake in here, I'd be right. <laughs> I'd, I'd just, is, oh, don't say that. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Thanks to Dan at VVS for letting us in today and having a walk around, and we really appreciate that. And he's got a great level of stock here. I mean, this is one of the biggest Lamborghini collections in in it must be in the UK and, and yeah. not Europe. I mean, you could see every Lamborghini you, you enjoy here. Well, when I walked in the door, I just kept saying to myself, be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool. And I was like, <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty special, it's a pretty special place with some amazing vehicles. Okay, thanks, Dan.